This grocery list looked like it was written in the deepest Gullah Geechee Ebonic Backwoods part of South Carolina there is. And the woman that's reading it must be from South Carolina because she can fluently read it. This is somebody saying, I'm going to spell this the way that I talk. Forget spell check, forget Webster Dictionary. So, I'm going to go ahead and spell my grocery list the same way. if you want more than that. Hmm. Yeah. I might cook it today, I don't know. Now I just need, I need some flour and some grease. You could have got more stuff than that before you got your lazy self in this truck, too. I like the way you played that off. Got in the truck real smooth on the fly and had me get the rest of the groceries. Alright y'all, Chef Anthony on Britain here. The Carolina Cook cooking the Carolinas. Chef Anthony seafood seasoning. I'm gonna fry some fish up and some shrimp up with it. I keep saying Chef Anthony's, I mean Chef All Britain's. Fried Brussels sprouts. I'm probably use the uh, green seasoning uh, body of all purpose, maybe both on the uh, Brussels sprouts. But while that grease is getting ready, all I'm doing, dropping a gen generous amount. Let me shake it up. Make sure I get everything uh, mixed up real well. Gonna do a quick review on uh, what fried food come out like, fried seafood. Pretty much coating that fish with it. And coat, coating that shrimp with it. As long as I can see and smell that seasoning on there, I know it's good. All right, I had to grab my mask, y'all, because the pollen out here was killing me. All right, now I'm gonna get this flowered up. school way. Plastic bag. Start with the shrimp. 
as you can see, you need to double bag it. Because you never know if the bag got a hole in it. Make sure it's nice and coated. Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them up. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that smell good. Show sure y'all what it does. Yeah, really. Let that go for about a few minutes to the golden brown. Ooh, y'all should smell that. I would say that's about ready. Time to start getting them out of there. You know, you can see them beginning to float there. All right, that's that shrimp. Letting it drain. Can't wait to taste it. Let's get started on this fish. Let's get this fish in the bag. For extra flavor on the fish, season the flour as well as the fish. Then have to do that with the shrimp. I'm gonna just do everything in a single coat. No milk, eggs, nothing like that. I can read y'all mind. Y'all wanna know what this fish looking like. Gotcha. Doing what it do. With fish, you wanna fry it to it's golden brown and the meat is flaky. That'd be about so you're looking at maybe three, four minute tops. I'm not a fan of frying fish. I'm not even gonna lie to you. First batch of fish is ready. Now, hit these Brussels sprouts with some green seasoning. I'm just making this up, y'all. Grab my other fry basket. All right, I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna start lifting them up, taking them out. All right, y'all, that's my final plate in this presentation right now. And we're gonna dab a little bit of more of that sauce on top of the uh, just a quick uh, honey butter sauce I made uh, piggy banking off of the nice sauce that Red Lobster used with their Brussels sprouts. So it's completely experimental. All right. All right.
All right, y'all. I'm going to give everything a taste. How to fish this? Hot grease. Don't get around, around that. This plate is a little fancy for outside. Taste, this is more like a plastic plate situation. They can see the name of it. A little grape soda. Y'all, I'm supposed to quit drinking soda. I just can't right now. Why? Why are you supposed to quit soda? Hey, that's not good for you. I'm saying that after deep frying everything. My most favorite drink on the planet, ice water. All right, y'all, so I made a nice honey sauce for the uh, Brussels sprouts. All right. Yo, this is pretty good. The sweetness pairs really well with the Brussels sprouts, to be honest. You don't like Brussels sprouts? Celery. After this video, he kept eating his Brussels sprouts. Like celery and cabbage. And spinach. He sounded like the grocery list at the beginning talking about spinach. <laughs> what? <laughs> How you like the fish? Good. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of fried fish, but I do like the way that my fried lobster tails and fried shrimp come out with this seasoning. Look, water. I put I put water in salt together. Tastes like Kool Aid with no sugar. We made great Kool-Aid. Yeah, I like it. I like Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid, no sugar. Ham, no burger. <laughs> peanut butter, no jelly. I actually do eat peanut butter and jelly sandwich without jelly. Now, them right there, that was good. Oh, you didn't pay attention because you ain't had any video. But it was like, when I had crap, my crap leg, it was like people were behind me, and they were looking, and they said, oh, they got crap legs. For real? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they said they need to buy some. Did they get them? Nope. <laughs> and all of that, they just kept staring at us eating crap legs. <laughs> I did not hear that. <laughs> it was an old lady, two old people. <laughs> Y'all, I'm full, but I cleaned my plate. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't you dare say the other word. Don't you dare say it. Don't you dare say it. Like, comment, share the love. Don't say And subscribe. It. Don't say it. To like it, share it, and subscribe it now to my channel. Thank you, church. That? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to say it because I already got it set to say it already pre recorded. Chef Anthony R. Britton, the Carolina cook. Cooking the Look Carolinas. The <laughs> Eating the Carolinas and tasting the Carolinas. In this case, I cooked the Carolinas today, With the ate the Carolinas, they tasted the Carolinas, all from me. Like it, share it now, the love, and subscribe it unto my channel. Thank you, Judge.